So I had this impulse to share this story with you that happened to me recently. And I think um, it'd be really great for you to hear my own experience and reflection around all this whole process that I had internally. So I had a discovery call not too long ago with a prospective client. And uh, that's typically how people, when they want to work with me, we have this discovery call. Most people are familiar with it in the coaching world where it can be a 20, 30 minute call. Kind of coming to like, you know, find out what's going on with you and seeing if uh, there's some places that I can offer solutions and help. And if so, then we move forward to working together. And I had this particular individual come onto the call that just from the jump, <laughs> just started calling me out as a fraud, as who are you to say you can do miracles? Who are you to say you provide healing? Um, just went on and on, like just, and it was just, for me, it, it, it shocked me at first because, you know, normally I don't have that experience. Most people that come on those calls are people that are really interested and invested in, in potentially taking the next step to working with me. So basically I had someone come on that um, was a hater <laughs> and was like, you know, call me out. Who do you think you are? And what happened was... It, it triggered a place, a part of me, this younger part that felt really vulnerable, really insecure about, well, who, who the hell am I? Like, who the fuck am I to say that I can help people with miracles? Um, and reminding me a whole, you know, I, I grew up in a, in a relatively middle-class family that later, you know, did really well um, as the economy boomed later. But really, my at my core, like I grew up in a in a middle class, where you know it was very indoctrinated early on that you know don't get too big for your britches. Like you know, put your head down, work hard, and good things will come. And over the process of what's happened to me in the last few years is really realizing so much more of what's possible, right? And as we step into that creation of, no, miracles are real, miracles are possible, things start happening, not only in my day as I'm co-creating, but also as I'm helping people facilitate and do that for themselves. And so, yes, miracles are happening. People are healing. I just had two incredible clients that just phoned me this week and one uh, person that was told they were not able to really have children. They didn't have as many eggs that's needed to you know, fertilize a viable um, baby. Well, a miracle happened. They are now able to have viable eggs, really healthy, tangible eggs, and their life is literally transformed in that process. They've actually welcomed and now have a partner in their life. They, they are now taking steps to move forward to start uh, beginning their life together. Um, so just amazing. And then I had another client that, you know, when we first started working, had uh, cancer and really bad, some type of ulcerated colitis, a lot of bleeding internally. And that limited them from, from traveling, right? That limited them from uh, fulfilling their dreams, which was to go travel international and help and be of service to the world. And... Um, they weren't able to do that for, you know, of course, reasons with their health. But through the course of working together, we helped really heal some deep, deep blockages 
beliefs that this person had been believing and they just got a, 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 a checkup and sign of approval for good health from their doctor, no signs of cancer, autoimmune condition in their gut, completely healed and they book their flight and they're leaving. And that is the miracle, my friends, right? That change that we all want, where we have that heart longing, and yet some part of us, some memory, some belief comes in and blocks that that says you are not big enough, you are, you are less than you. It's not possible for you, right? Because of X, Y, and Z, and we justify it, and we create judgment or grievances in our mind around that. But what if it is possible, right? And so I had to recently work through my own stuff, my own fears, my own inhibitions around stepping into this role as a facilitator of healing, of miracles for people. And it was just, it was a really good practice. I had to do exactly what I tell all my clients to do, is face that, welcome that. Don't run away from those feelings, those feelings of, of shame, those feelings of, of you might get attacked, you know, if you put yourself out there too much, right? All of that was alive for me. And thankfully this individual was reflecting that to me. So instead of getting angry or upset at this person, of course in the initial onslaught, I was like, whoa, that's a lot coming at me. But what ultimately I came to was this realization that I'm sharing with you is that that was my, she was my angel in that moment. She was my teacher to help me see, ah, yes, you still have a little bit there in you that is afraid to show up in all these ways to hold space for all these people that are coming to you. And so I just was grateful for that experience. And I share it because this is really the process that we all have to go through if you choose to heal from your heart center, from mind-body medicine, which I teach. And regardless of whatever the condition is, if it is cancer, if it is autoimmune, if it's heart disease, whatever it is, we have to be willing to not project ourselves onto the world and find solutions out there, but to turn our attention back in and look to the places where there is the lack, where there is the place there, you're still feeling like there's something that didn't completely sit well, that didn't feel well. Maybe it was when you were five years old. Maybe it was when you were a teenager. Maybe it was just last year. Circumstances where we have built a whole belief system around a trauma, a circumstance in our life. And when we can return those back to the heart and let the heart ultimately be the healer that heals you, that's where the miracle happens. So this is what I love doing. This is my really practice, I would say, and life and of course what I love to offer in the world and if this really resonates with you I have a really um, amazing video that I want to share with you about more about what it is how that looks how that entails in the links below and I would recommend checking that out and then of course if it resonates with you more book a call with me book a discovery call with me and uh, we'll have a good conversation together regarding your situation. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I recommend continuing to subscribe to this channel, to uh, follow these videos, because 
in each of these videos, it's really a little um, segment, a little um, jewel that you might get from really the work that I'm offering into the world. And uh, this channel is really my way of connecting it out to the greater community. And um, if you get value from that, I'm grateful. And please share that with others. Please like it. And of course, subscribe. And um, love to get this out to more and more people because this is what I feel is most important for us as the human family now is how we can anchor ourselves more and more in the reality of our hearts and the blessings that come from this amazing realization that we all have and is 100% possible for you. So thanks for tuning in today and uh, I'll see you in the next video.